Thank you. Well, I'm going to talk about connections because that's what community is about and that's what politics is about. And I'm here with two hats on. Currently, I'm the chair of the Board of Supervisors as well as the California Coastal Commissioner representing this area. Now, my district goes all the way up to San Lorenzo Valley. And the connection with the San Lorenzo Valley is that when the princes came here, they took wood that was harvested from the San Lorenzo Valley. It was milled into planks down in the city of Santa Cruz and then they shaped it and surfed the river mouth. The San Lorenzo Valley, as you know also, transports sand. And sand and the, the changes that we see in the winter and the summertime and the transport sand is, very, is a very critical issue to the Coastal Commission as well as to us here. That's why they're surfing right now back at the river mouth. That's why they're surfing Twin Lakes Beach and other places because of those changes in the sand. If we make changes on shore, we affect the surf breaks. So as a county supervisor, I am very interested in, with my colleague, I'll point out, uh, Supervisor John Leopold, whose district is the Live Oak area, and that is where the surfing reserve is. And he and I both know that when we make land use decisions, we now, because we're a world surfing reserve, need to make those land use decisions to protect that vital resource. As the California Coastal Commissioner, we passed a resolution a little over a year ago supporting world surfing reserves, the first one in Malibu. And I thought, uh, Malibu, well that's great. And I got on the phone with my friend Mark Massara, who you'll hear from in a minute, and said, what about Santa Cruz? This was the heart, this was the beginning of surfing in North America, and this is the heart of surfing in North America. Santa Cruz has all of those aspects, community support, the environment, look around. What a day, what a Santa Cruz day we have folks surfing here at the lane, folks surfing up and down our coast. Uh, we have just a perfect midwinter Santa Cruz day. It can't get any better than this. So the Coastal Commission is, is very interested in this. I wanted to see this come to Santa Cruz, the recognition for what it means historically, what it means culturally, and our local values of the environment are paramount. Coastal Commission is a regulatory agency. It is all about ensuring coastal resources. It was the commission that said no to a toll road that was going to go into Southern California that would have had a tremendously detrimental effect on a very famous surf break down there, as well as other coastal resources. So in my role as a commissioner, we are constantly reviewing local decisions to figure out what impact that has on the coastal resources and to protect and preserve those. Chief among those, among the commission now and historically, are surf breaks and surfing Areas that are critical to California tourism, California lifestyle, as well as our environment. We are great partners with the surfing community in protecting the breaks for that activity. Uh, I use the oceans as well, as you may know. I do mine a little bit outside the, the surf breaks, but um, this is near and dear to me personally as well as professionally to protect what we have for future generations to come. I'm very pleased to see this designation come to Santa Cruz, and I hope that culturally and synergistically we can take advantage of it, but also from a regulatory standpoint, we need to make sure that we draw those connections between the decisions that get made on land with land use and the preservation for all time of the surf breaks and what this ocean and this coastal resource is doing to us. So I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled that we have this opportunity here. Uh, no better place to protect and talk about surfing uh, with pioneers like Jack O'Neill and all that, that Santa Cruz represents in surfing. This is it. This is the heart of surfing, and I'm glad that we can be a flagship world surfing reserve for the entire world to recognize that. Thank you.